Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Today, just a quick, uh, well, it's not going to be a tutorial, it's just a quick tips on how I use two factor authentication on my, uh, you know, on my uh, WordPress websites. I bought this from Amazon, is the um, Iposecu, I think it's called. Yes, Iposecu. Let's have a look at the website. There we go, uh, this is what I bought. Let me focus a little bit better. And I bought the mini. There we go, that's the one here. Now let's have a look on Amazon, and this is more or less what I paid. So let's see how it works with uh, WordPress. Now I got a WordPress site already installed. And if I go to, let's have a look, to plugins first. So I'm going to show you which uh, plugins I have installed. Is the two factor, as you can see here. And that is from George Stefanis. I have uh, activated it. So now to get access, it, you're going to go to users. Click on the user. All right. And you got to scroll down. Well, as you can see here, you can actually activate the two-factor authentication. You can do it via email, time-based password, Google Authenticator, and by Fido. This is what we're going to use. Enabled, and I'm going to also do primary. I'm going down, and I'm going to register a new key. There we go. Now let's open this one here. So I think I forgot something. I gotta put this one first, and I. Uh, oh my God! One hand is very difficult. So here we go. Let's put this one in. Where are we? Here we go. Sorry about this guys, so there we go, we just put the this one in. I don't think you can actually see it properly there. There we go. Let's see if I can focus there. Anyway, now I'm going to do again register new key. Although I haven't heard any usually it's like a little bit business. Nothing yet. Hmm, interesting. I hope it works. Where we go, where we go, where we go. Here we go, it just... Uh, it recognize it, I think, yeah. Here we go. Not recognize. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's move it. I know I got a rogue. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Here we go. The lights comes up for me. I know I had one of the USB not working properly. Now it becomes as green. It shouldn't be any problem. You don't need any drivers for this. Here we go. It's been done. Uh, no. So anyway, you do the install the the plugin. You enable and put on primary on the Fido, and then you want to do is register the key. It's searching there, as you can see. Then I'm going to press the green button. That's the way it's supposed to work, I think. Let's do.
Oh, let's start it again. So anyway, we put that one in. It's been recognized now. Then I'm going to register a new key. There we go. Now it's blinking. So I press once. I think. And there we go. The security key is being done. A new security key, as you can see here. So now I'm going to press on update profile. Then I'm going to log out. Now let's log in. So log in and password. Press log in. Now insert and tap your security key as you can see there. I don't know where I'm at. Where I'm at. Here we go. And now as you can see this is blinking. Now what I'm going to do, if I can, I'm going to press this green button and it should log me in, exactly. Sorry because it's a, I'm doing it on a mobile anyway, sorry guys, I'm not home and uh, what I usually do, you know, the tutorials. So anyway, this was just a quick tip on how I use two uh, hardware two factors authentication so I don't have to remember what the cause and everything all right hope you enjoy it and I'll see you soon with another tutorial bye